see this team and how is the anticipation kind of building towards that first game? There's a lot of anticipation. Practice every day is our focus. Um, I think we're going to have a great team this year. Um, we have a lot of leadership and a lot of older guys. I think it'll be a great year. I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm ready to play. I mean, I've been looking forward to being here for a long time, so it just it feels good to be here. I'm honestly, it's like I can't wait. I know it's cliche, but for me, my particular situation is just, this is, this is hard not to be into, you know, especially with the team that we have this year. You guys added two pretty key pieces this year in KJ Fagan and Malachi Flynn. How have their additions bolstered your team? You know what? Malachi and KJ are both phenomenal players. Um, they can create for others at a high level. They can also score the ball at a high level. So I think that they'll really give our team that boost that we need. They bring a lot of excitement, um, also a lot of leadership, both being guards, you know, those are your four generals, your leaders on the floor. Well, I think we're fortunate to have them both leading our team. Having veteran guards in the backcourt is, is a blessing. The guys that have been there put in the work, played the minutes, and I just feel like these guys just coming in with, with the mindsets that they have to win and uh, knowing from the programs they come from would be, be fun to see. It's been a pretty easy transition. Um, the coaches have um, helped me become comfortable here really fast and um, they just given me confidence in my game and i just a naturally confident person. So a little bit of leeway or love from coaches like that just makes the transition easy. I want to come somewhere where they, they were winning um, to, to a good tradition. It's coming to a winning culture. So I'm a, a team that's provenly been to the tournament year in, year out. And I think Steve Fisher has built that. And then he handed it off to Dutch, and I think he's doing a good job. The last time this team made it to the big dance was in 2018. Is that a really big subject of conversation in this locker room? Yes. Um, with all the talent that we have on this team, it's naturally going to be a conversation. We're all confident. We all feel like, you know, we can make it there. So it's all about putting the pieces together, and I just hopefully we can get there. Our expectation is not just to make it to the dance, but to make a run. Like, dance should be a given for us with our team this year. And uh, we're just, we're focused on what we got to do. We got to take care of work early. So that's an everyday conversation. Um, that is something we want to do. That is something we know we can do. We have the manpower, we have the talent, we have the skill level. All that's left is to go out and put it together, and we'll have to fight and, and claw over the course of the season.
acrobatic, and it doesn't fall. Tiger in transition, running the floor. Shot blocked by Mensa. The attempt from Wesley Harris. Fagan, shake and bake, gets into the paint, dumps it off for Mensa, who stuffs it with two hands. For Flynn, who's got five to lead all scorers early on. Using a Mensa ball screen. Nice pass inside, and an easy bucket for Joe Mensa. Some good basketball has been played in the city in recent years. Shot clock at 10. Little John gets around his defender and a shot blocked away beautifully by Nathan Mensa. Tennessee State looking to run here into the low post. Johnson, top of the key, on the way, and a swish for Michael Little John. He moved with his athleticism. Aztecs by double figures for the first time. Now ahead of the play, an easy basket inside for Shakem Johnson. Eckel hasn't scored. Wetzel had the first basket for San Diego State, has not scored since. There's miscommunication to steal by Little John, who runs the floor and lays it up and in. Gets it back. Guarded by Fagan. Kick out. Little John. And that rattles in for the senior guard. Sex have turned it over 10 times tonight here at VA Haas. Shot clock at 10. Miscommunication stolen by Pulliam the other way. Lays it up and it is fouled. Swings it for Freeman on the wing. Freeman for Little John, who passes up a three. He's hit a couple tonight. His step back jumper is good. Tigers rip it down. Point blank miss from Trey Pulliam. Aztecs by seven. A rope guarding here. Baseline drive from Johnson, who scores on a rope. Nearing nine to play. Flynn with a left-handed dribble. Flynn eyes a three. It's a swish and a big one for the Aztecs. Looked good. It was online. It was just a bit off and strong off that back iron. Under eight. Flynn to the basket. Kicking Seiko left alone. Three. Good for San Diego State. Now Marshall. Ten-footer. Long rebound shackle. Will San Diego State continue to force the pace? Up ahead. Wetzel inside. Lays it in. Kicks it for Mitchell at five. Mitchell pulls up, steps back, in and out. No, Wessel fighting for the rebound, but it's to Tennessee State ahead. Little John, why not? Looking for his fifth, and he drains it with 131 to play. What a night at five. Why not just hold it? Shoot at the last moment. At three, Flynn pulls up, and that goes, and that'll seal it for the Aztecs. Diego State moves to 6-0 and oh for the first time since 2010 and 2011. San Diego State 62, Tennessee State 49. BYU, but he's a newcomer to this rivalry. Up for three over Hawes, and we're tied up just like that K.J. Fagan. I was here you see Fagan just pulling up, and T.J. Hawes thinking, well, you know, he's... Back to Mitchell, shot clocks at five, drives baseline. Rainbow mm. fader, hits it as the shot clock expires, and the Aztec lead is up to six. This is a moment ago from Mitchell. Yeah, that is a tough, tough. Mitchell clears it out for the Aztecs. Flynn all the way in and off the glass. A tough move. Here's TJ. He looks up, sees he's got a few seconds. Needs a little bit of room, and it's stolen away. Pulliam's got it. Toulson converges, and Pulliam off the glass. And as the shot clock was going down, just a heads-up play by Pulliam, Trey Pulliam. And then he gets the finish under the screen because he loves that off-the-screen jump shot. Flynn to answer right back. And he does again. The silencer, Malachi Flynn. Final seconds of the half. Flynn over Barcelo and Lee, and he drops it in. He has been the story of this first half. Malachi Flynn, a dozen points, 6-29. to 29. The Cougars have got to find an answer for Malachi Flynn. Over to Flynn. Flynn gets it right back to Wetzel. Good give and go, and off the glass and in. Wetzel with his first two. The big fella at 6'10". You see, you see the help by Colby Lee, but T.J. Hawes wasn't bought open again. And... This is a BYU team that has so little size that to win these kinds of games, they got to stick their three-point shot. You just don't have that inside guy that's going to go get them 20 in, in the inside. The make by Toulson. Now Flynn over Barcelo picks up right where he left off. 14 points for Malachi Flynn. 
Would love to see an inside touch here. First adversity of the year for these Aztecs. Shakel up for three, good. So they go to their best shooter on the squad. Point game. And Flynn takes it right away from Troy. Gets away with some steps and lays it over to Shackle for two, and he's got seven. Flynn from way outside. That thing was halfway down. Ends on the rebound and the dunk. Wants the foul, doesn't get it, but he gets the dunk. Ten of him. Tough on the rebound, and Flynn, and he gets it back. Working Celius over Celius. Up for three. And Jordan Shackle. 10 points. Watch that three by Shackle. Just a little bit of space, and he's got a 6 7 defender on him, and still just with that one dribble and kind of the step back. Set out last year, he redshirted. Looking inside, Benz of the throw down. <laughs> Be the face of the program for a long time. Yeah, play for Mike Bibby. He's formerly the coach. Shout him out. Mensa, what a start. He's gonna have a high field goal percentage with this right here. With an out top, he's the grad transfer from Vanderbilt. Fagan to transfer from Santa Clara, and it's Wetzel with the left hand off the glass. Almost downshift and goes small, but right now going with two bigs, that's what allowed them to rebound, and rebounding was really the story of how they beat BYU. The three is good. Lorenzo Jenkins knocks it down. They're accomplishing a little black shear, kind of playing into it. Doesn't get the ball in the front court, makes the first pass in 22 seconds. Now you only have to guard for 20 seconds. Well, he's showing off the new body. As Mitchell tracks that down, Fagan's three counted. And I think initially percentages obviously be down. I think it'll open up the lane, could continue to open up the lane. Um, but, you know. Guys are guys grow up with the three-point. When you get done playing, where is your home? A part of college basketball is you get you're in a basketball family. You have a place to go back to. You have a true alma mater. Right. Harley still your guy. You know the best pickup game in uh, Scotts in, in in Scottsdale is right. What's that about? Kurt Warner. Oh really? Oh yeah, he's got a gym in his house. Humble self is there. Tries to take another pull up. Gets blocked. By the way, how good is Warner at basketball? The lob and the finish. I know Kurt Warner can't do that finish. He got game. Fagan, the three, in rhythm. Well, let's see. That's Grand Canyon is trying to get Louis Van Guy in the game here. Get him some minutes. And hey, Carlos Johnson knocks down a three. If at first you don't succeed, try, <laughs> try, try. Their labor's got four. Wetzel should be able to blow by him. Nice pass. Mensa with the finish. Big and deep triple. Yes. I had no problem with him getting players again. I do have a little problem. <laughs> really? 12 and a half, huh? 12 and a half. 12 and a hook, as they say. Oh, and the rainbow triple. Final seconds ticking off the clock. I'm curious to see this exchange, whether Dan was said it all about the pressing. And apparently not. <laughs> Very cordial. Of the University of San Diego, like every time Christmas comes, we hear the stories about, boy, oh boy, the Aztecs shouldn't play those guys. They beat them last year in the madhouse. So I don't think they're, they're intimidated against the, the Aztecs here today. Not sold out, not full by any means. Outside shock over three. Good! Back in, kid, back in that you're a big fella. He'll fake right, go left. Beautiful move off the glass. Got it! The biggest lead has been nine. Trey Pulliam drives. Oh, left it short. Rebound. Wetzel drives, puts it up the glass. Got it! Malachi Flynn will match up on that far side. Get a screen. Nicely done by Mensa. Got in with the right hand, put it up and in. What a great, great pick by Nathan Mensa. Driving right past it to get that great, great layup. He'll spin with the right hand off the glass. No. About an eight-footer. Offensive rebound. Wetzel got his own. He drives. He scores. Danny Wetzel. They've been outplayed since then and outshot for sure. A bucket rope all the way. Two hands. Slam. Oh, my goodness. Malachi got in off the glass. Missed the shot. Rebound. Wetzel turns up. Got to the left hand. Got it. Off the glass. 
Wetzel, way away from the basket where they want him. Great move to get up in a two-hand. Malachi is not going to factor in the offense so far. Lob underneath. Slam dunk for the Scarlet and Black. Yanni Wetzel on the floor with a drive. Hard right hand. Hook off the glass. Good. No net, no rim, no nothing. Outside Wetzel for three. Good. Bagan. Dribble with the left hand. Pull up 15-footer. Good. Inbound, Trey Pulliam. I'll reset the Aztec five in a moment. Screen from Alakai's three. Good. Had an easy chippy, too. Matt Mitchell drives in, spin move. Off the glass and in. Oh, Mitch. To a rope at the free throw line. Lob underneath. Nathan. Slam dunk. Beautiful. Alley oop lob back. Down low, off the glass and in. Of running around and shooting from beyond the arc. They convert on their first three of the night. Speaking of threes, here's Fagan. He buries a tray for San Diego State. The last four shots. Open look. With the ball up by eight. Into the lane. So 21-11, here's Mitchell, left elbow. Good bounce pass down low, Joel Menza. Quickly the other way, and the Sharks get the two points. Aztecs with the ball, Menza passes it off. Pulliam, down low, Wetzel. Four threes in that game. Tonight, though, LIU only with three threes. Mitchell down low, double team, he's blocked. Good block in the paint. We'll try another three that time, he's off target. Rebound to LIU. Trying to cut into this deficit. Into the paint, Cotton again. Gives it to Flowers. Flowers, Cotton for three. Knocks it down. He has six. Six points, four rebounds, two assists for Cotton. San Diego State only up by five. Mitchell knocks it down. Here's the three in and out. Tip to the top. Sharks come away. Augusto lays it up and in. Slow it down. Pulliam open. Decides the pass to Mitchell. So Aztec slowing it down. Slicing in. Good pass from Flynn. Flynn at the top. Floats one in from the free throw line. Bank is open off the glass. Driving near side, almost with the block, Wetzel. Shot misses over Wetzel, but the second chance opportunity by Raekwon Clark. Tackle at the free throw line. Guarded by Jackson Jr. Now Mitchell going to work. Mitchell! Mitchell. They're shooting. Less than 32% from the field this half. Long pass, Flynn. He'll try it again. Flynn! Another win. They improved to 5 0 as the clock strikes zero. The final score tonight 81 to 64. San Diego State beat LIU. They remain undefeated. They're 5 0. He's been doing that to everybody. He's got the jump hook with five footer and up and good. They score in their third possession. Aztecs on their first. Outside, Malachi screen for three. Good! Now Wetzel will give it back to KJ. He got penetration. Dishes off underneath. Two and slam dunk. 22 on the shot clock. Straight out. Malachi fakes, pulls up. 18-foot jump shot. Good! Oh, the first two made by Malachi Flip. Malachi pulls up. Doesn't take the jump shot. Goes underneath. Got the easy bucket by Joel Mensah. Man-to-man -man defense, both sides. Mitch outside. Adam Seiko for three. Good! Adam, you always could shoot, man. Aztecs bounce pass corner. Seiko, corner three. Good! Adam goes two for two. And a bounce pass on the low block. AJ turns a guac with the spin move. Five footer off the glass with the right hand. Got it! Great crossover by Malachi with a drive and a terrible. I don't think it was a shot, it was a pass to Malachi from Malachi to the big guy. Nathan turn, shoot, score. Big advantage to Wetzel against Harris. 6'10 on 6'6. Six, six, drive with the right hand. Hook up! Oh, play by Yanni Wetzel. And Trey Pulliam. Pulliam, another one of those runners that never go in, and this one does. Way to go, Trey. On the miss by Jalen Washington ahead. Mitchell got hammered and went in anyway. Here come the Aztecs. And one for Matt Mitchell. Freeman. Little John. Bounce pass back to Marshall off his leg. 
Trey Pulliam steal ahead off the glass. Got it. Trey Pulliam. Aztecs in transition. This place is rocking, rocking now. Only nine point lead in the second half. It's going away, except this one. Malachi for three. Good. Going to get Wesley Harris back in the ball game. In penetration in the corner. Seiko for three. Good. Adam Seiko for Malachi Flynn. Didn't get iron though. 17 on the shot clock. Pull up 15 footer. Mitch. Good. Matt Mitchell puts the nail in big time. Aztecs. Going to be 6 and 0. Oh. Not too many teams are still undefeated. But the San Diego State Aztecs are certainly one of them in college basketball. Shot clock two. Malachi three. Good. Woohoo. Hot dog. Just getting you set for game two of our doubleheader on Thanksgiving. San Diego State and the Creighton Blue Jays. There's Tyshawn Alexander. He's one of the outstanding three guards for Creighton. Malachi Flynn, the transfer from Washington State, has got to keep your eye on. Wetzel, over the course of this game, how nimble he is on the defensive side. He made a really tough shot for Christian Bishop. Bishop with an athletic play. Right here, Bishop. This is so nice, we had to see it twice. There's not a lot of room there. It was pretty good defense, I would say. Really good point guards on display in this second game. Bishop poked it away. Bishop on the ground, able to save it. Up ahead, Balak. Balak lays it up and in. Balak gets credit for the bucket, but let's give some love to Christian Bishop. Completely laid out Pete Rose style. I know you like the baseball references, my friend. <laughs> that was Pete Rose. Shoot three. Really athletic player. Fadeaway jump shot. Pure from the junior Matt Mitchell. A lot to like about Matt Mitchell. See a lot of that out of a rope. Wow. There he is underneath. So athletic. Great vision from Malachi Flynn. Just looks right over the top. And that's just way too easy. Balak with the left hand. A soft touch. He is left handed. So you're going to want to take away that strong hand drive. Threes are like layups for Creighton. There's a three. Mitchell. San Diego State extending their lead to seven. 13-point lead. There's a three. Knocking it down. Malachi Flynn. Oh, you know how much I love the long ball. Look, this is Malachi Flynn, who is shooting better from the three-point arc than he is inside the arc. Valak is doing great work on Wetzel, trying to keep him in front. Pass out to Flynn. Inside and out. Got a lot of minutes to play, and, and I, I have a feeling number five is going to have something to do with this. Oh, what a play by Matt Mitchell. Sit and watch. Oh, this is beautiful. Matt Mitchell was scorching hot in the first half. He comes in as the sixth man. He's still on fire. Take the contact, eyes up on the rim, and one. Five to shoot, cross court pass. Flynn off the window. Flynn with 17. Alexander lost it on the way up. Mitchell poked it away. Shackle transition. Shackle knocks it down, another three for San Diego State. It's still a 19-point game. If they can't get stops, it doesn't matter. Wide open, Mitchell having a night. 16 for Matt Mitchell. Uh, you might want to guard the best player. I mean, Malachi Flynn and Matt Mitchell, you can give them the co-MVP right now. He hit his first shot, hasn't hit one since. Shackle feeling it. Oh, wow. Go ahead, Jordan. Full out line changes and production. Walker Rope with a turnover. Malachi Flynn. Oh my. He was trying to lob it and it went in. Ha, he's even in shock. San Diego State, an impressive win. 83 52, and they've got a date with the Iowa Hawkeyes. Seven undefeated teams left. And Shackle battles one up from three. A trap here from Jordan Wetzel, the center. Look how mobile he is, number five. Unable to get to CJ Frederick, who ties the game with a three. Look, the Aztecs have plenty of offensive options. There's Malachi, number 22, in black. Handing off to Jordan Trackle. He's got three for three and got the steal. And Wetzel all by himself down low. Over 30 something years. And, and this coach the NBA got his cleaner all over the yard. Three by Creener and an offensive rebound by Frederick. Bakari Evelyn knocked it down. Although Matt Mitchell might go to the patent office and say, no, 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 I did it first. <laughs> Shackle for three. Has it missed. Mitchell three. 
Back-to-back -back possessions with threes for the Aztecs are right back in it. Uh, Yanni Wetzel, number five in black, who only played 12 minutes because of foul trouble. Want to get him going? And Malachi Flint's first basket of the game. Jordan Shackle in the corner. Fagan underneath. Yanni Wetzel. They learned their lesson. Fagan left open. Oh. Didn't look good, but it counts all the same. So Michigan's got to win the national title to keep that streak going. Yanni Wetzel gives the Aztecs their first lead since early on in the first. McCaffrey answers right back. He's out of bounds. They work on it every day in Iowa City. Now Flynn. I love him, but he is going to spill some paint. Flynn, deep three. Goes baseline, another floater. It's been the Malachi Flynn show. Flynn goes around the ass. He's too fast right there. Garza's got three fouls. Bohannon, finally. I'll take either one of those guys as teammates any day of the week. Flynn, floater again. Malachi Flynn with 24. All in the second half. For the first time since that Kawhi Leonard led Aztec team 2010-2011. Talked to Steve Fisher before the game today about that special club. Only lost a handful of games. Best start since then. Since they try to play a little more inside out on this trip. Fagan pulls up. Nicely done. Knocks down the 12 footer in the lane. And got back to his man because of the respect that Wetzel earned. Nice bounce pass from the true freshman Stevens. Carmacho gets the easy two. Here for Thistlewood, if he hits two threes in a row. Beautiful cut. Martin gets the two. And the dunk from Mensa. I believe we have it corrected now. Kendall Moore. Carbaccio underneath, did Stevens get in the foul? Real nice pass. You talked about Carbaccio as a passer. Spaces all over. Flynn in traffic, floater. Oh, that's nice. Malachi Flynn. All right, so Mitchell with it, Mitchell. And it's Flynn, the deep three, and why not? Malachi Flynn on fire in the first half. To just get him a kind of look in a, in a place that he likes. And it's coming down the other way. Wow, it's Kendall Moore with contact. Nicely done by the sophomore from Danville, Illinois. Fagan crossover from 18. Yes. Bucket. That's good news for Aztec fans. A mismatch. And he feels like he has one as Chris Martin defends him. Watch his nasty crossover. A little crossover step back. Gets the space up and finishes. And an extra chance for the Aztecs. Good hustle. Wetzel, the two. Nice delivery from Mensa. Joel Mensa picks up the dribble, needs some help. Pulliam gets bumped, no call. They're letting him play. This be Edwards. Fun. No, don't just lay it up. Ah! Of the last 10 years, they've had some really good teams. Seiko three, and he connects. And what an addition he's been. Seiko, another three, count it. Adam Seiko knocks down back-to-back -back triples. Mitchell, the spin, but what with the move. left. Oh, that was beautiful. Wow, Matt Mitchell's got a dozen. Eight rebounds. Moore's triple, yes! Kendall Moore, and the deficit is five for the Rams. One part of the court. Flynn, tough shot, gets it to go. Malachi Flynn. That's a lot of goals. Oh, Malachi Flynn. Wow. I needed two rebounds. <laughs> I needed to be doing the Carmelo Anthony. I got it. 
Uh, Mitchell ties the season high with 18 points. He also ties the season high with eight rebounds. Let me give it at the top there with a drive by Yanni Wetzel. He'll stop. Fall away, 10-foot jump shot. Good! Great anticipation and steal by Nathan Menza. Intended for Matthias ahead to Shaco with a drive and off the glass and got it! He'll drive in, got penetration, got blocked out there by Bray Ivy. Shaco, three, good! Pulliam. He'll drive to the far side of the free throw line to fall away 15-footer. Good! Trey Pulliam. On a Sunday afternoon that I used to play in there. Oh, they found Yanni Low on a beautiful bounce pass. Coming off another big performance. This is with the right hand come to the left hand and off the glass and in. Shot clock, plenty of time. Plenty of time to reset. Drive with the right hand up and in. Beautiful drive by the Aztecs. Into Nathan Menser with those two fouls. He goes up with the left hand, gets hacked and throws up a prayer. And it goes in. Oh, Nathan, Merry Christmas, big fella. Outside to Malachi for three. Good. Down eight. Basket left. Drive. Amari Moore, double pump off the glass hard. Nicely done. They drive. They underneath. They try to penetrate against the Aztecs, and they put it up and in. I don't mean him. The Aztecs. Drive at 100 miles an hour. Amari Moore, he goes up. He gets the layup. He gets fouled. Come on. Up. Driving through. That ball was blocked away against Malachi. Mitchell outside for three. Good! Used the big points from him. Inbound. Wetzel on the low block. Reverse layup. Got it! They had to switch on defense. He got away from Malachi for just a moment. They get him now. Shot clock. Three, two, and a runner. Good. Oh, boy. The chance to tie with a two. Take a lead with a do. Spray Ivy for three. Good. They can't miss. Seneca Knight gets it back. Drive it in penetration. High and got it on the layup. Unbelievable! Fagan waiting. Far side. They tie up Shackle, three seconds outside, Malachi got it! Malachi got it! Malachi got it! Three, nothing but net! Bedlam, Bedlam! Championship players do championship things like that. And again, leading 7-2 tonight with the basketballs. Fagan brings the ball up, drives, and scores! With the left hand, K.J. Fagan exploding. Sex allowed the first points. They've scored the last nine. And the average margin of victory against the Hawks over the years by the Aztecs, 29 points as Flynn drills his first three of the night and have the Hawks in trouble. And it's Mentz that comes up with the steal. Ahead for Fagan. Now Wetzel stuffs it. 14 straight. Timeout. San Diego Christian. Using a screen from Noreen who missed the first 10 games. He'll post up in that mid post. Workout Parsons, kick it, Mitchell, straightaway three, and that's good. Matt Mitchell has text by eight. They've led by as many as 12. Fagan carving into the paint for Mitchell. Mitchell gets inside, scores, and gets fouled as well by Christine. So Mitchell makes it look easy. He points in the first half. Now his foot on the line, so they say it too. It's 32-20. He's got 12. That's thrown up for Mensa, who scores off the fine from Flynn in the paint. San Diego State by 18. They double. Here's Mensa inside using that advantage and scoring with the two-handed slam. Non-D1 games do not impact net rankings for Division I teams. Here's Flynn driving. Floater. Good for Malachi Flynn, who was pleading for a foul. Meeting since the 2017-18 season. Combs trying to create. Loses the handle. Fagan comes up with it. Fagan running. Ahead for Wetzel. Who doesn't put the ball on the floor and slams it. San Diego State could not convert on the 2 and one but then the Hawks turn it over. Here's a 2 and one again. Back for Shackle. Straight on three. Good! Passes up the three. Cut off on a baseline drive. Fagan into the paint. Fagan scores over top the defense. Hawks the other way into the paint. Throw it, uh, throw it away and turn it over. Ahead for Fagan with two hands. San Diego State has had it. Still, the Aztecs lead by more than San Diego Christian has scored. 65-31. Flynn steps into this. Wing three, and that's a swish. Shelmadine has the shot blocked by Noreen. Good defense there by Nolan. Now Keyshawn Johnson with the stuff. The first six or seven minutes of the second half. Really played well. Mitchell underneath. Out for Seiko. Catch and shoot. Another three for San Diego State. Some teams that have been nationally ranked in the NAIA very tough this year, including number two Masters. Narain inside has his first points and he's found. Again, San Diego State number one. 
Barnett hoping to become the 11th different Aztec scorer. Or Giordano. Wing three. Good. Caleb Giordano. They led that game by more than 15 points before Kentucky got it close. And you see Yanni Wetzel with the dunk in a very pro San Diego State crowd. Well, Flinch is happy to trigger that. And he knocks it down. Why not? Going to have to sprinkle in some three-pointers. There's a three from Yanni Wetzel. Now Utah looking to give San Diego State a little different look defensively. K.J. Fagan, no, but the follow from Nathan Metz and he's fouled. San Diego State, you got to get them, you got to turn them off somehow. They left Matt Mitchell alone. He's a 45% three-point shooter. Right. Elite freshman point guards in our league this year. And one for Nathan Mensa. And it's now four for 17. What a pass. And what a finish. Joel Mensa from K.J. Fagan. Ball snapping around for the Aztecs as it has for 25 minutes of this game. Nathan Mensa scores it. Oh, that's what I was talking about with Flynn and screen roll game under control. And now Allen guarding on Flynn. Closing out and it doesn't matter. Another good read. As soon as I said 13 was the number, San Diego State makes a three and pushes it to 14. Shackle. They're all falling now. Well, if anybody knows that a 15-point lead can evaporate in the second half, it's these Utes, but... They had to hold off Kentucky on Wednesday, yeah. but Wetzel just keeps on going. He's a good player, Wetzel. Anything away from the, from what Utah's done so far in my evaluation of them, just based on what happened this afternoon. Seiko is second three. So San Diego State remains unbeaten. 12-0 with a 28-point win over Utah here at Staples Center. In their green rotary from Aztecs are home and white corner pull up jump shot a 15 footer by Jordan Shackle. Good off the hands of Yakola, taken away by Malachi Flynn ahead up for the layup. Jordan Shackle, good and he was fouled. Malachi could not instead. Adam Seiko comes to the ball game, he'll get it out to Malachi for three. Good ball stole it away. Malachi took it away. Bounce pass Mitchell, slam dunk. Two hands right out front. Ready to back in here. Uh, Yanni instead will give it out. A drive by Seiko. Bounce pass back to Yanni. Slam dunk two hands. I think Seiko may be. Seiko just stole it away as I said that. Ahead to KJ. Giving it back. Easy layup. What a beautiful two on one. Driving. There you go. They didn't take Malachi. Back out. Nathan Mensa left alone. Handing off with another drive. Shaco off the glass. Got it. Now Cal Poly has a score for two. Malachi for three. No good. Put back. Slam dunk. A lot of sports. Inbound Aztecs. Bounce pass. Up over the rim. Could have slam dunked it, but put it over the rim. A great straight feed again. Crossover dribble. Giving it out. KJ Fagan. Line drive three. That was a two, not a three by Ballard. Aztecs. KJ Fagan going all the way. Missed the layup. Put back up and in by Yanni Wetzel. Aztecs six of 11. KJ Fagan. He got in. Got a patient. Right hand to the left hand. Put it up and in. Then he'll stop the dribble to go Mitchell in the corner. Yanni Wetzel will take the three, then drive. That spin move off the glass. Got it. Oh, what an athlete. By Junior Ballard. Outside to Malachi for three. Good. Malachi had six points in the first half. He's doubled that. He finds Yanni. He goes up. Got it. Behind the back while he was being pushed. He flipped it up over his right shoulder, and it got nothing but net. By Jordan Shackle. Rebound. Pulliam corner three. Good. Trey Pulliam. 57-39, across the midcourt line, quickly to the trailer, Shackle for three, good! K.J. Bacon, he's across the midcourt line. State 12-0, one of just two undefeated teams in the nation, ranked number one in the net, the official NCAA metric. Fresno State, meanwhile, comes into this one four and nine. Good love you, man. Inside to Wetzel, outside, K.J. for three, good! K.J. Bacon, on his first touch. Across the midcourt line, Shackle pull up 10-footer, good! He's had games like that. 
Bounce pass, Joel Mensa, 10 foot jumper. Good. They've turned it over four times, but the Bulldogs have turned it over six. Into Joel Mensa from Fagan on the bounce pass on the inbounds. Two hands, slam dunk. It is no good. It is Matt Mitchell. Shackle out to Malachi for a long three. Good. And back out straight ahead there. Flynn found KJ. Up, reverse layup. Got it. Beautiful pass by Malachi Flynn on the give and go. Wetzel has rebound number five here. Mitchell, spin move inside the paint, put it up, and got it, oh, it tried to come out. By his own self, flips to the left hand, got penetration, left hand off the glass, got it. Out high to Yanni Wetzel, Yanni will put it on the floor, he'll drive, reaches now, puts it up, in. beautiful drive. Including Washington State in here, he'll penetrate, lay up with the left hand, there's 1,000. Pulliam, inside, Joel, up, in, ah, oh, that's great, man, Justin Hudson hates that. Trey Pulliam with his five-point lead. Got penetration, dished it off. Joel, two-hand. Slam dunk, Mr. Minson. Seven on the shot clock. Matt Mitchell holding, holding. Going to start a drive, a pull-up, 19-footer. Good! Oh, did they need that? This team lost to UC Riverside at home. Come on. Mitchell for three again. Good! Matt Mitchell, the two, the three. Inbound passer. That ball was tipped by Yanni. What a great job. Ahead to Malachi, ahead of everybody. Up and in off the glass. Oh, what a great play. Here's Malachi, 52-40, Aztecs by 12. Malachi, six-foot runner, good. He had to put it high over Robinson. And he did that beautifully. Wetzel. Good move. With the left hand. He's pretty cagey himself down there. Good defense by Utah State, this possession. Shot clock's down, got to get it up. Here comes Flynn. Did he beat him? Yes, he did. Hits the three. They may look at this though. Safe ball here. This is Pulliam. Mitchell. Bang. Wow. San Diego State had missed five straight threes. And then Flynn and Mitchell buried two of them. Pulliam. Yes. And a foul. I'm shocked that Kata did not go after that. Another late shot clock for San Diego State. He's standing upright. Keita. Namiya's Keita is all by himself. You can't have that much space if this stuff is coming off the dribble. Those are tough threes. He's one of eight from distance. Fagan kicks. Mitchell. Oh, what a great kick by Fagan. Mitchell took a look at the shot clock. Goes to work and hits oh. another one. An 18 footer this time. This guy. Fagan drops it off. You need to get this out. Johnny Wetzel on Keita. Oh. He scores over him. Oh. Good move. Merrill. Fagan not giving any room. Gets the shot. Comes off the screen. Wow. Probably wouldn't foul yet, but I would foul after this possession for sure. Try to get one stop and see if you can score. Flynn. Shackle. Dagger. Oh, goodness. And then off the kick from Malachi Flynn. How about Shackle? Three of four. You know, San Diego State not really reacting that good in the last two minutes of this game. Merrill. A three. Try and get a steal. If you don't get a steal right away with this much time left and down center, you got to foul immediately. And you can't figure you can't. You have no choice on who you foul. Whoever's got the ball. And the Aztecs are still unbeaten. Auburn and San Diego State, the only college basketball unbeatens here in the first week of January. He's got it. Doesn't take the open three. Instead, settles for the floater and... When you're good, you're good. <laughs> but they don't want to see Wyoming get hot from three-point range. 
Seiko will rise for three, and that's good for Adam Seiko. And they've been all over that. Malachi Flynn can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, Wetzel, and oh. the flush. Yanni, look out. Malachi Flynn with it. Good pick and roll. Wetzel gives it up, and the lay-in. Oh, what a find by Yanni Wetzel. Flynn has a step on Banks. Gets it back. Will fire a three. That's good. That was actually Jordan Shackle. Flynn working. What a move by Malachi Flynn. Straight to the hoop. Six points for Malachi Flynn. Back in 2014 to play in this rivalry game. Back to action here. Matt Mitchell finds Nolan Durain. Gets it out to Pulliam. They leave Shackle open for three. Not sure that's what you want to do. And he's hit back-to-back -back threes. And the lead is now 15. Wetzel. Hand it off to Flynn. They leave him open from three, and that's good. Only a matter of time before he gets going. Flynn got the banks up in the air, lobs it inside. They lost Wetzel. Can't lose Wetzel. Played nearly four minutes here in this second half. Shackle will let it go. That's good. Both teams maybe heating up a little bit. Did not pull the trigger, even though he was open at a little bit. Bacon will from deep. That's good. Flynn will let it fly again from three. That one's good. If at first you don't succeed. Get inside, nothing there for Wetzel. Keyshaw Johnson for three and drains it. You can see why they're high on him. That includes Josh Adams. What a drive oh. by Yanni Wetzel right past Hunter Thompson. And one opportunity for Yanni Wetzel. Wichita State starting out in man-to-man. -man. They'll double inside when possible. Inside to Mitchell. Matt Mitchell getting another start with an injury to Nathan Mensa. And he's an inside-outside guy at 6'6", 240. Yanni Wetzel posting up against George, the big center from Germany. Three from the way, and it's there. Fagan, whose shot isn't bent up to par. This is a Boise State team that will mix man and some zone from time to time. Here's Flynn from the outside, and he drills the three from the left wing. He had the game winning three against San Jose State. And at number three all time in Mountain West history after that triple. Here's Mitchell. Boy, he's got the complete game. He can step you out and take you inside. This is a banger, can get physical and go inside. Shot clock down to four for Hobbs against Fagan. Three on the way. Got it. They needed that one. A big shot from Hobbs, a senior from LaPorte, Texas. One shot and done. And that first shot defense has been fantastic all year. Here's Flynn. Got a three from the corner. And they Dixon did a great job of getting him off the line. He's been their best on-the-ball defender and has put scoring it kind of as a, a side story this season. They go inside, Narain, count the bucket and the foul. I think I say on the floor, they count it. Yes, a good look inside, and there's a hammer yeah, from yeah, Williams. Yeah, he's... Yes, if one for eight now from the field. And that was probably one of the best looks he's had in a long time. Oh, Wetzel whoa, throws one whoa. down. No block. This time, this is the second time he's taken it from 15, 18 feet and drives it straight to the hole. Might have been a foul and it plays through it. First little guy coming off an injury. He's getting some reps. He's got really long arms. He'll be a problem. There There's you Austin. go. Scoreless in the last three and a half. Alston. Starting to take advantage. That's the Mountain West leading score. If the outside shot's not going. Wizzy State's done that. They've made him rush shots. This guy won't rush. The crossover there from Flynn and the floater good. You he has 13. Williams against the rope. Spinning in there. Oh, tough shot. He is such a tough guy to deal with. Yeah, this team can play with them. They can defend as well as any of those teams yes, for sure. They can. Right from the corner. They nice. get a three. Boy, they needed that. That has really been an adventure out there. No sense of urgency now as we near the six-minute mark. On the attack, Fagan. Why not? He has 21. Think about Fagan's a guy with 19 now. Scored over 1,100 points. You know, at Santa Clara. was only all-freshman team. Nearing the two-minute mark. Flynn. Wetzel, boy, that combination has worked all night long in the end one. Fresno, Nevada, Wyoming, play Vegas, New Mexico. William Steele, that'll do it. 83-65. Coach Dutcher has a good team. Versatile, it's not just about defense with this squad.
The grad transfer from Vanderbilt by way of New Zealand. Manning the low post with five on the shot clock as Malachi Flynn, second time already, he gets inside. And that's what he does. He is a pure score. Elite defensive team. Always have been. The difference is this year, they're a terrific offensive team, too. Anthony Holland, the freshman from Riverside. And on the U19 international squad for his home country. And said, he told us earlier in the game as he dumps it off inside to a, a rope for the legs at New Mexico. He was a whopping two of 14 from the floor. So he was ready to go. Just couldn't quite find his shot. Transition for the freshman, Nevin Hart. The Aztecs right now 0 for 5 from 3, Fresno State 1 for 2, Campbell nearly had the steal, 5 on the shot clock as Flynn has it in the corner. Malachi Flynn gets the first 3 pointer, albeit half of their playing time goes to freshmen. They get production right there from a senior, New Williams. Look where Robinson is, catching the ball 13, 14 feet outside the, uh, the basket. New Williams, the runner, and that ends a six-minute scoring drought for Fresno State. Hyder, good drive. Use the shoulder to get separation. Not afraid to play against San Diego State. The freshman had 23 points at Vieja Center in their last meeting two weeks ago. Malachi Flynn along two. Got set on the shot clock to kick out back to Malachi. Mitchell left alone from three, and he makes Fresno State pay. Got this crowd energized here at the Save Mart Center. Malachi Flynn had just picked up his third foul. Finds Mitchell on the wing. Mitchell driving head down, and Matt Mitchell. They creep into that top 25 as they host Kentucky. Campbell gets inside. Lips out, Flynn, look at the outlet, in stride, the grad transfer, Wetzel, the receiver. Fourth foul on Matt Mitchell. He will have to come take a seat on the bench during the next whistle. Oh, Flynn picked the pocket of Robinson. Malachi finishes with the left. A rope into the front court. And one, Yanni Wetzel. That's the danger in pressing. Four on three, three on twos, and here it is, a two on one. Johnny Wetzel up to 17 points. It's a 16 point advantage, the biggest of the game for the Aztecs. New Williams, the South Pole, drains the three. Fresno State, I think they're going to lose now five of six. But I, I'm telling you, I can't get over how talented this, this young group is. <laughs> Still remains in San Diego State's hands. 64-55 is your final. is going to do it. Kentucky defeats Michigan State 69-62. Oh. And that will count. Dotson banks home a three, and that'll make the final score. Duke 68 and Kansas 66. And again. Comes up short. What a win by Evansville. And for that man right there, what a moment.
for Walter McCarty. Incredible job done by Walter McCarty and his staff. And credit goes to the Purple Aces. of help. This is not a one-man team. They've got themselves a superstar, no doubt about that. But he's got a lot of help on that team. This is a guy to keep an eye on. Dayton is legit. championship in Maui. Congratulations to the Kansas Jayhawks, who for the third time are the champions of the Maui Gym Maui Invitation. There's Michigan and Jumbo enjoy their fans. They're going to the finals at the Battle for Atlantis. And this thing's over. That's it. And it is over. Gonzaga barely escapes 73 72 the final in overtime and have a dominant performance the wolverines to put it simply they were awesome baby with a capital delay <laughs> Great defensive performance, Louisville number one, Mr. O'Brien, and they certainly backed it up, beating the Red Hot Wolverines tonight. This out, Coleman lands no, and Buffalo wins and hands to Paul its first loss of the season and its first loss in more than eight months. This was a program win without Jemias Ramsey, their leading scorer. Remarkable. For the fourth time this year, the number one ranked team in the nation suffers a defeat. And what a big win for Chris Beard and the Red Raiders here in New York City. Officials, they're going to let the clock wind down. Penn State takes down number four.
a heave and a prayer. Here's Baldwin. I don't think he got it off anyway. It won't count, and the game is over. The Baylor Bears improve to eight and one on the year and take down another top 20 undefeated team, the Butler Bulldogs. Home team still perfect in the Big Ten. Top five teams, 0 and three on the road in conference play. And here they come. Great way to usher in finals. Blow off a little steam. Celebrating an upset over number three. A big win for LSU. They'll go to eight and four on the season and snap the 14-game winning streak of Liberty. There are now only two undefeated teams in college basketball. cut off in tight seven to shoot deep three goes for Jalen Harris Malachi Flynn brings it up and finds Mitchell deep three straight away from Mitchell for the first main bucket of the game Harris has the first five for Nevada Mitchell has the first four for San Diego State Johnson step back three finds KJ Fagan in the front court Little 2-3 zone here now by the Wolfpack. It is so Fagan with three over the zone. Super aggressive. You're going to control the tempo, and you're going to knock down for him. Zuzwa finds a rolling Williams for the hammer. Pick and roll and a slam dunk for Zachary Williams. Showing off the shooting touch. Williams has it ripped away. A run out. Fagan. Spins it in. Now he sacrificed. Gives the ball up. Just plays defense, so it's nice to see him get a chance to take some shots. Five made threes. Jazz Johnson and one counted. Flynn's a main guy, so he try to keep the ball away from him. When the Aztecs go to him, they don't have to touch the basketball. Bullion takes it himself and hits it. Tough one in the paint. Fading away for the junior from Bryan, Texas. Wetzel packing in on Williams. Wetzel off the glass to get the Aztecs the lead again. Honey versus Jazz. It has been Jazz Johnson winning so far. Jackal buries a three. Good sign for San Diego State. Not only are they back on top, but Jordan Shackle. Malachi Flynn with eyes up. Mitchell sprinting into the front court. One on three. Kept it alive and somehow finished. Impossible from Matt Mitchell. Five straight to start the second half for San Diego State and a miss for Jalen Harris. So the show getting behind. Malachi Flynn and San Diego State. San Diego State has a chance to take a double-digit lead for the first time in the game. Credit to defense by San Diego State. The big guy! Yes! And one! Yanni! Sweet music! Army around him, a gray army around him. It don't matter. Throw it to the moon. Three guys, no matter. Kiss it off there. Yes. Mitchell takes it down the baseline. Mitchell aggressive with the rim. Lost on the way up. Wetzel there to bail him out. Kick out. Three. And it may be an early dagger. It's going to be difficult. They can do it. It's very difficult to run the table. Flynn and the Aztecs holding on the show now for the show. Game playing center with San Diego State. He had to switch positions in the middle of the year, and it has been masterful. Lead offense for Harris brings it back. Milling off the bounce in the paint. Bothered in tight. There's Hines rejected by Minsa. And the Aztecs remain undefeated. 19 and 0. The only undefeated team in the nation. I mean, the home, the home defenders can't help too much off them because they're great knockdown shooters. And if they help too much, when I kick it, the ball's off the gun. Let's 
question. How far can this team go? 19 and 0. What do you think? No ceiling, sir. No ceiling at all. Thank you very much, Johnny. Good luck the rest of the way. He said the number one thing we have to do is play physical tonight against the Aztecs. Three to shoot. Cowboys managed to get it up and get it in. Question about it. They don't have the firepower. They don't have the, the talent, the size, the athleticism of the Aztecs. What a look from Wetzel to play. Foster taken away, and here's defense to offense again for Flynn. Adol, Aztec run. Begins with defense again no, for the Aztecs. No question. Great steal by Malachi Flynn. Very intelligent player. Maldonado tipped away. Wetzel got a hand on it. Eight to shoot. Maldonado needs help. Off the bounce on the baseline. Tough one for Hunter Maldonado. Skip it. Flynn. Five to shoot. Flynn off the bounce, back to Mitchell. He penetrates, and a bailout foul with two seconds on the shot clock. Count the bucket. Get drafted by the NBA by Sacramento Kings, the 40th pick, so he lost a terrific player. Hendricks launches the three and buries it, and that is what Wyoming needs from Jake Hendricks. Flynn straight away. Flynn from the elbow. Malachi Flynn, nothing is slowing down. Malachi Flynn. It's a ball here. It's a matchup zone. Goes by Marble. Pull up mid ring. Wetzel on the post. Guarded by Thompson. Wetzel. What a look for Flynn. And then to his elbow. <clears throat> so Adam Seiko takes his spot on the floor there. Yes. Wetzel slipping and a good look from Flynn for Yanni Wetzel. Here we go next pick and roll. Throw it up. Flynn to Wetzel. Send it home, big fella from New Zealand. Malachi Flynn, turn over, run out, chance A.J. Banks, lost it, gets it back, and then gives it right back to Malachi Flynn, causing the Wyoming coaching staff to pitch, especially when Shackle turns it into a chance for a three-point play. Mitchell got a hand on it. Edwards calling for a goaltend, didn't get it. Mitchell down the baseline on Maldonado. Steve Fisher loves him. We talked to Steve the other day, Carter. He say he's a great on-ball defender, very unselfish. Seiko lets it fly. Respiratory ailment. And yet, I mean, you've, you've had a position change. Oh. Started. Line up change, and there goes K.J. Fagan. Hendricks nearly walks. Get it on the banks. The correction, he uh, red transfer. My mistake. Oh, and then Hendricks hits another three. 20 in the game on five. Made threes for Jake yep. Hendricks. Tying the longest winning streak. Tying the best start in program history. Seven to shoot. Flynn hits the deck. Keeps it alive. Shackle and now Flynn wants it back. Three to shoot. Flynn lets it fly from the U. And UNLV with a shot clock winding down. Malachi Magic. Way downtown. My goodness. 28, 29 feet, Carter. Vegas only shoots 31% from three-point land, Carter. Very poor. Flynn into the post. There's Wetzel take the bump and one. Sheeble commits a foul, and Yanni Wetzel has a chance at a three-point play. Wetzel backing in. Shot clock winding down again. Wetzel gives it up. Shackle lets it fly and buries another three late in the shot clock. Wetzel on John again. The big man matchup goes Yanni's way again with a personal foul. Count the bucket. Flynn's going to take it again. Hand in his face. Tap out. Second chance. Floater. Pop it. Beats the buzzer at the half. Trey Pulliam leading the way for San Diego State. Hamilton brings it up. Got to push it. Attack. 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 Hamilton does attack. Right to the rim. And one. Even at 36, and Bryce Hamilton can give you an LV the lead. They had a little bit of trouble. Trying to match up in a little bit. Flynn, another deep three. And it spins in as Tax regain the magic in the lead from Malachi. Flynn trying to run the Aztecs to 21 and 0. Sidestep triple. Bryce Hamilton still on the bench for you and LV. With a triple. LV has flipped the three point shooting script in the second half. Flynn attacks. 
John backs off, and Flynn gets the layup. We're even again at 45. Six to shoot here. Flynn on Coleman. Off the screen from Wetzel. Two to shoot. Flynn. One count the bucket. Chance at a three-point play for the Aztec leader, Malachi Flynn. Five second half points for Hamilton after the foul trouble. Hardy. Flow to John. Shackle off the bounce. Aztecs playing keep away now. Under two minutes. Seven point lead. Keep away. Keep this. Fagan attacks in the paint. Kick out. Pulliam off the bounce. Off the window. Spins it in. Two more. Trey Pulliam. Malachi Flynn and the Aztecs hit the free throws down the stretch. And after the top effort from UNLV, it is 21 straight for San Diego State, a new school record for the Aztec. That's Ponte Hendricks driving. Ponte Hendricks can't finish. Shackle with the rebound. Numbers for the Aztecs. Wetzel with the dunk. Nice on time on target pass. Can shoot the three, but he can take big guys off the dribble. Wetzel with the rebound. And New Mexico has to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Rebounding is a huge issue in this game. San Diego State, they're so good defensively. You're, you're never going to really score. Or re rarely are you going to score early in the possession. you got to really work your offense. Look at Mitchell. And one. And he's down. Flynn in transition. Mitchell can shoot the three. And bangs one home. San Diego State has overwhelmed New Mexico. Retrieve all of the loose balls. Like that one, Pulliam with the steal. Tips from him. Numbers, I mean numbers, I mean numbers for New Mexico. And that's Keith McGee. 35-21. Oh, the freshman, Keisha Johnson, New Mexico. All the talent they've got. This freshman's been hiding on the bench. That's impressive. I thought that was goaltender. But no whistle. Oh, we're not happy. San Diego State right back at it. That's his first make of a three. And his first points of the ball games. Martin has really had a nice year. Flynn rotates, Fagan launches, got it! And now in the next coach, he's only making one, maybe two passes. This incredible ball movement. And I told you Fagan was a scorer at, at Santa Clara. San Diego State's 0 for 2 in the last possessions against the zone, but now can they rebound? Flynn nails it. It's hard to rebound that, Rich. Flynn looks at the shot clock, backs out. Goes to work, splits the double and scores. It looked like Tim Hardaway. Nolan Durain is in. Fagan rotates it. Flynn gets in and scores and gets a free throw. We yeah, did the floor several years ago, so it's a, it's a special place to play basketball. And they have a terrific practice facility. Wetzel from Malachi Flynn. Yanni Wetzel. It's the first time you've seen San Diego State, man. This is a team to watch. Aztecs, number four in the top 25 poll, number two in the net. Utah State likes to play man to man. Shackle buries it from three. So this team, he's very relaxed. We talked to him today, Carter, right? He's having a great time. Ooh. Flynn finds Yanni Wetzel in a good look. Wetzel stands his ground. Mitchell runs the Aztecs. Fagan lets it fly. It's Kadon Mitchell. Pokes away. Flynn gets a steal, taking it away from Kada. And now Malachi Flynn. Threes, two of them from Malachi Flynn. Kata gets past Wetzel. This there's though in tight. And there's Bean on the offensive glass where he excels. Brock Miller takes it and drills it. Now he's back. Looks like he's 100% healthy. Oh boy. Merrill hits the three. Oh, 
Although it is just February 1, you already look at what this means for March as Mitchell hits the three. All right when the Aztecs had a chance to tie it, Aggies come back with another big bucket. Mitchell tries a deep three right over Justin Bean on the baseline. Flynn gets the steal off the look from Bean. Mitchell's feeling it. Now he's feeling it even more. What it do, Matt Mitchell. Aztecs on top. To make games high drama this year, Wetzel gets a steal. It is Yanni. Kata comes to screen from Merrill. Merrill shot fake and a good one, wow. and then he hits a tough two. Pulliam trying to get to the hot hand. It's Yanni who has the hot hand from outside. His triple gives the Aztecs a seven-point lead. Pulliam cut off. Mitchell eyes it and buries it. With Kawhi Grennan. I like it. See what happens this possession. Flynn fires again. And hits this time. Fearless. Malachi Flynn. Fagan gets right past Bearstow. And creates. Step in Seiko. Whoa. Adam Seiko gets into the act. Nailing the three. Going on, we're here at San Diego State. We're here all in attendance for Kawhi's jersey ceremony, retirement. We're just here as teammates being very supportive um, and hopefully have a good time and, and just be here in the support of Finch. We're at uh, Kawhi's jersey retirement. I think it's like our fifth one this year. So we got a bunch of guys that did very good work in college, obviously, and that's good. honor Kawhi. It was great to see him. Great to see a smile on his face. Great to have him come home to, to Viejas Arena and be surrounded by fans that watched him play in college and enjoyed all his success and wish him well for what he's done here and, and what he's continuing to do in the NBA. He's a gem of our city. I mean, he lives here. He decided to buy a house in San Diego. So he's up in LA, but uh, in the off season or he gets a chance, he's here in San Diego because he loves the city. There's definitely significance there. Um, me having a big night and Kawhi's big night. It's a great influence, especially for me, um, just coming from where I, where I did I'm in the Inland Empire. He's the biggest idol next to Reggie Miller in the Inland Empire. So it's a great influence for me to come here and, and be able to show out tonight and as well as just be able to be in the school's presence and, and live under Kawhi's name. He has the rare double, talent and an incredible work ethic. Some guys waste their talent. He's taken full advantage of the talent he's been given and worked harder than anybody I've ever seen. And so it's no surprise the success he's enjoying and we were glad that we had him here for the two years we did. Into their defensive game plan. 
He pleaded at the center spot. The plan was for him to play the four spot, not the five spot. Seiko drills the three. The starter on the floor for the Aztecs. Scotty kicks it out to the corner. It's Joyce for three. What is it? Started out in the 2 2 1 three quarter court press. Back to his own. Kaya trying to take advantage. Boy, he has been aggressive here in the half with his action off the bench. Ahead of Gonzaga would be the undefeated record. Kagan out of the timeout. Slammed back home by Mitchell. This is more possession of zone than San Diego State's played all year. Yeah, they worked on that practice today. But it's, it's a product of not only tonight, but I think it's thinking about moving forward. They just have to tighten up their defense just a little bit more, especially with San Diego State's attempting to do it. Joyce again! His third triple of the ball game! Surging into the lineup, he's given Air Force Academy a huge boost offensively. Can't leave Mitchell alone. He answers right back. So, again, you can't leave him open. Can't leave anybody open, except for... To Scotty. Gonna see a lot of movement, a lot of cutting. A great job getting to the bucket. Back to a three-point game. Look like KJ Fagan is moving better. Tweaked his ankle a little bit in the first half. Good kick out. Bounds. Pulling up. Drilled the triple. Got nothing to lose. Nine and fourteen on the season. Three and eight in conference. No travel call. And Fagan somehow got it to go. What I love about Air Force in that last nice situation. You know, yes, Fagan could have traveled, but they got back. Rain off the bench for San Diego State. Pulliam stays on the floor too. Fagan hits again. Can't stop him here in the second half. Fagan, the dish to Shackle on the drive. Brian Dish. And can't finish. Rain follows his own miss. Count on the foul. Swan back on the floor with four fouls. Two on the inbound. Mitchell turns and hits. What a three to beat the buzzer. Brian Dutcher's team extends the school record winning streak to 24. 24 and 0. New Mexico across the board is bigger in just about every position. They've got to use their size and also the speed they have with the guys they have on the floor to have an advantage on the board. Something San Diego State has dominated teams at this year. Good defensively of controlling the pace of the game. Now you can't throw turnovers like that because New Mexico will certainly take advantage. Oh my goodness, Corey Manigal from the heavens. Free throw line shot from Zane Martin, the redshirt junior misses. Malachi Flynn inside, what a move, midair for Yanni Wetzel, the senior from Auckland, New Zealand. Great of a playmaker he was. Look, he drew all that attention and just drops it down inside to Yanni Wetzel for two. Perfect five of five from the floor. Nearly another turnover on the Lobos, 10 to shoot, and an alley-oop. From Malawatch to Manigault on the broken play. Wetzel has been perfect. Five oh. of five. Nearly threw it away. Found Flynn. Flynn took a body. No whistle. And, and one for Matt Mitchell on the second effort. Manigault starts the second half for the Lobos. Misses that shot there. He also has three fouls. Right now, those are the only two players in foul trouble. Mitchell going right at the rack. And nobody wanted to get in front of him. Looks so effortless when he does. He can also handle the basketball, the spin move, the finish. In the first half, he comes in in the first three minutes of the second half, drills another three-pointer. See, I don't like that shot. It banked in. I don't like that shot. The guy like Matt Mitchell, who's probably the most experienced player for the Aztecs, speak of the devil. Mitchell. Oh, my goodness! this he deserved it he got the deflection in the steal and just watch this finish oh that's gross that was disgusting how he cocked it behind his head and finished it that's the best dunk i've seen all year my gosh i didn't know he had it in him that was unbelievable and one why not matt mitchell have yourself a day talk about his versatility and his ability to score in different ways now Malachi Flynn to the rack. The right rips down another board, and they'll reset. Fagan 
Hits the three. Two of your top four ranked teams come from the West Coast. Gonzaga, San Diego State. Another excellent find is Yanni Wetzel. A look at Nevada as maybe being the spoiler for San Diego State. At least giving them a run. I mean, it could be. I also worked a game where Colorado State hit 19 threes. And, and, you know, but they're young. Colorado State's a very young team outside of Nico Carvacho. They outscore New Mexico 47 to 26 in the second half. And San Diego State is your regular season Mountain West champion. Boise State have to get to the basket. They're settling for outside jump shots. And I love that play. Boise State trying to get the ball inside. This is the easiest way. It's a perfect pass to himself. What a play. <laughs> Steve Wolf, that was awesome. Man, it's just so hard because he can shoot the three. So you have to stay up on him, and then he goes around you. He's had a big block after he lost the rock in the offensive end. Career to that program. Scored 1,400 career points. Greg in the corner. That's a deep corner three. Watch out! Buries the triple. Five pounds in the offseason. You know, he, he does it all for him. Fun to watch. Jessup thinking about another triple. You bet. Second three ball and that one. Kick out for Pulliam. Seiko, three to shoot. He'll drive the paint. He'll float. And rattles it in. Adam Seiko is first two. Orange stock clock turned off. Guess who's got the rock? This guy. Look at the handles. Here's Flynn. He floats up high short this time. Wetzel rebounds. Stick back. Adiani Wetzel beats the first half. They are very, very good offensively and defensively, too. Another overplay steal. Mitchell up he goes for the hammer. Matt Mitchell. You see the nice defensive play. It wasn't a really good pass. R.J. Williams. Spin. Lost it. Wetzel, great hands. Flynn as well. Back to Wetzel. Up, up, and away. Yanni Wetzel, the hammer slam. Out for Malachi Flynn, deep three. Jessup picked another three ball short this time. George keeps it alive. And a fresh 20 for Boise State. There's the coach's son. Boise State. Daddy's boy. Knocking down the three ball. Rebound. Hagan takes it away. Lead Shackle. Who lays it in? Amongst the trees in traffic. That is a strong work on the defensive glass. Fagan drives the basket for two. Stop here and then runs it off at the other end. You got a lot of time. Only down 10. Flynn. Perfect from three. Can't let that happen. Here's a pass back out. Inside out. You can. That they're going to get the open guy the shot. And that's what they've done so far in this last four and a half. Look at that pass. Fagan, Wetzel. They got hit in the face. It was an eight-point lead with four and a half, and he responded. We're able to raise the lead. Now, up over 20. Wow! There's favorite shot. Beautiful three. Watch the Long net. range. Watch Not the net. Point. It's going to be another double-digit victory for San Diego State. And perfection continues. Yes, the Aztecs win again. This Rebels team coming off a 24-point win against Colorado State on Tuesday. Hit 51 points in the opening half, and the step back for Blair. Half-court executing team because they don't have that high elite-level veteran point guard. They don't, but they have a high elite-level score in Bryce Hamilton. Pulls down the board on the season, nearly 17 a game, four boards, five assists. Rarely turns over the basketball because he finds some open players like Wetzel. Some of the ratings by Ken Palm and Seth Davis, etc. So. Tremendous player. I don't know if he'll get it, but he's in the conversation. Mitra Long fouled. Count the shot. He was certainly beyond the three-point line. Coach Dutcher wanted a flopping call on UNLV, so he kicked his leg out. His leg came down pretty parallel. Third in the country, but he's really tremendous. <laughs> Wanna take it easy, now. Don't go crazy. He draws another oh! foul. Count it in the... Opportunity for three. What an opening ten minutes for Amari Hardy. Gabe Green is only 6'5". And they force another turnover. He too long. All by himself. This is the largest deficit that San Diego State has faced in conference. Flynn pulls down his fourth rebound. 
Really the only offense towards the end of the half. Mitchell, a tight three. A place where I would can win. I didn't think 26 and over happened, but certainly I'd like to win you. Right. Hardy, tough shot. Rolls oh, in. Oh, my goodness. The big miss. You're a rebel. Glenn dumps it down. Wetzel again. Got it up and in. The count and the foul. Goes off and running. And they'll pull it back out for Flynn. Shackle takes the three. And throws it. He's got to have poise now. He can't try to be a hero. Hamilton. Mitchell knocks it away. It was deflected. Two on the shot clock. Meet Drew Long trying to beat the buzzer. What a shot by the grad transfer. Their answer. Shot clock coming down. For the Aztecs. 25%. So. Don't need a three now. Let your wide open. Flynn steps back. Tough three. Bumps it. Back the basket now. Two passes. Put your head down. Go to the rim. Flynn instead taking a three. And throws it. Timeout San Diego State. State had a lead. It was 14-13. And you talk about a big time shot for maybe a first team All-American. Definitely a first team All-American. Candidate for player of the year. Switch on every screen. No timeouts remaining. Mitchell Long is going to go He's got it. Mitchell has tapped around. The clock starts. Mitchell has it. Half court for the tie and overtime. Oh. It falls off. And the hopes of an undefeated season come to an end at the hands of UNLV. They're missing those threes. It's a dangerous situation for Colorado State when you allow San Diego State to get off that many threes. And one. Drives to the basket and he's unsuccessful and he comes right back with what a career for Carvacho, a guy who had two offers at the high school. One to Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, and one to Colorado State. There's Roddy, there's a three. A good double team, they're moving the ball. Love it. Love the intensity from their team. John Thomas, here's Shackle. 12 0 run for the Rams. Boyan takes a three. Hands in the way. Hits. That's where the Aztecs play next to wrap up the regular season. There's Martin, baseline, a block for Mitchell, a whistle, and a hit for Chris Martin. And Earl Roberts transfers, got his first block. To shoot Mitchell outside the yard. He'll drive the paint, stick it back to Pullman with four to shoot. Two to shoot, spins, tough shot, hits. Coach has had a bad play here for San Diego State. Pullman handles the honors to Mitchell. Fagan, long, three, buries it. And a defensive rebound, and throws away right to Shackle. Nico Benton in front of us is furious. Shackle to finish the end one. The run out. And Mitchell here, just Mitchell in transition. Shackle, D3, you bet. And the crowd responds. Timeout. Good call out of the state. Shackle is going to have an opportunity to take advantage of the San Diego State's defense, but you can't when you're trying to ball it. Mitchell will walk to, but he couldn't follow up. Wetzel took a shot to the chops. And a fish. Carmacho and Mitchell is hurt behind the play. You really don't need to dribble in those situations. He rise up and shoot it. Stevens almost passed back to us. A wild dish. Both teams are just taking tough shots right now and not finishing around the basket. What team can get a clean look? Can Fred finally hit a shot? Yes! It's his first of the night. San Diego State's followed. Yeah, long three over Moore. Five is fouled. Ten to shoot Mitchell on the skip. Here with the breakup. Jacko, tough catch. Drives by the score line. Oh, Carvacho. Stick back for Georgia Shackle for two. Rats in the back in on Carvacho. Two bigs going head to head. Shackle take a three. Went down on that rebound, but does grab the defensive glass. It's the difference with San Diego State and a lot of other teams around the country. Other teams are trying to turn out, but not San Diego State. So cool being my ex at CSU Bench. Rico Mendon wants his team to run. They're not doing it for Stevens. Feeds Carvacho. Really nice catch in traffic and a finish. Yendo. It is a win for San Diego State to move to 27-1. 
coming back from a ruptured Achilles in February two years ago to now play significant minutes this year as a challenge at the rim gets two and a foul and there is Jalen Harris. You gotta be physical as a guard if you're going in the lane. Malachi Flynn steps back into an open look and got it. I just watched Corey Alford. San Diego State, only one loss all year. They're trying for that unbeaten regular season. Denied by UNLV at the Ajax Arena and a stuff by Mitchell. They make the extra pass. It's an NBA type of model. When we got a good shot, let's get a great shot. Harris sinks a three. He may be on the verge of like a 40 tonight. It came easy early to him. Like, and, and I, I thought for the last couple possessions, legs didn't get into the shot as well, that type of thing. Wow! KJ Fagan for three. Jalen Harris stalking. Jalen Harris hopping and fired. Great cut it. <laughs> Couldn't find anything in the first half. He was scoreless. Now he's shot seeking. Is well, that's that's the Steve Fisher influence with Brian Dutcher. Oh, two and a foul through the car wash for Wetzel. Tell you who did celebrate it every year. Coach Knight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, Coach Knight. Oh, that is a really difficult shot for Harris's first two of the second half. His low in conference is 15. That came in early January against Boise State, but San Diego State is not to be denied. Shackle has three threes in the second half. Shackle from the corner. On the kick to Mitchell. That's a rebound for Wetzel. Fagan and it blocked away by Drew. There's your closeout. It's supposed to happen at home. Follow-up questions later on that night. Flynn, yes, and a foul. Just when you think you know which way a game's going, no. it flips on. We said that about this, this Fagan back. Oh, the ankle looks good. Fagan fine. Robinson had a shot, didn't take it. Well, he wanted a three. Zuzois. Oh, wow. Nice. I thought it was long. Flynn and Johnson. Ten seconds. Flynn slicing and scoring. All right. They moved the ball screen way out. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Five Hour Energy Shots. Now in two great tropical flavors. Look at this. Look how much space there is. And there's no way Himes can keep Flynn in front in the middle of the court. And because there's shooters surrounding it. Crowd doesn't like the officiating. San Diego State carries just one loss into the Mountain West Tournament. 83-76, your final. That's the drive and the spin move by Mitchell to the right hand and an easy layup. Malachi in the paint. They double him. Tayani with a move to his right, a fall away jump shot with the left hand. Good. Trying to get penetration. Can't. They'll double him and kick it out. KJ for three. Good. KJ Fagan. So he'll give it up. Shot clock six. Malachi, long three. Good. Malachi Flynn. Shot clock, plenty of time. Yanni with a drive, a right handed hook. Got it. That's what you got to do, man. They can't handle you. You are right, the Aztec basket in the home whites. Yanni again, pick and roll, goes up. Double team, left hand, got it. By Chris Taylor, Aztec rebound to the trailer. Jordan Shackle for three, good. Six point Aztec deficit. Malachi drives in, underhand pass. A drunk in a rope, right under the bucket, up and in, got it. Coming in front of him on the near wing. Looking for that bounce pass, he was right there. Fagan all the way, double pump, got it. On the layup, off the transition. Back to KJ. Tries to penetrate that triple team. They're loading the block up there. Here's Mitchell for three. That like I said, Matt Mitchell is first team all-conference media. Just shoot, make shots, play defense. Scotty driving, that ball was knocked away. Came out when he drove on. Yanni ahead, Malachi puts it up. Stumbled, got it with the right hand, and got it anyway. That's eight threes for Air Force. Underneath, they found Yanni for the two-hand slam dunk. KJ Fagan, big time pass. Loves to play ball, you can tell. Shaq for three. Go. Jordan Shackle. Ahead to Malachi. He'll drive. You got penetration to the trailer. And from the corner, three. Good. Matt Mitchell. Down to six. Seven nothing run. Yanni puts it up. Got it with the right hand. By seven yesterday. Malachi penetration. Leaning 13 footer. Tough shot. Got his own put back up and in. Oh, what a play. This is the ball game. This is the quarterfinal. This is the 29th win of the season by the San Diego State Aztec. Two for three. Good. 
That's what matters. So he's looking to give it up. They inbound the screen for KJ's three. Good. Hey, KJ, I just talking about you, man. To Malachi with a drive and picking out the shackle for three. Good. What do you know? A red hot start. Malachi, near side, pulls up for the three. Good if it goes. 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 Getting in. KJ Fagan, followed by eight footer off the glass. Got it. Glass, rim, in. 31 16. In the corner for three. Good. Matt Mitchell, Aztecs. Drive it in with 18 on the shot clock. Double pump, put it up. Got it. Running six footer with KJ on his back. Aztecs to our right again. Trey Pulliam on the floor. Got penetration. Double pump. Got it with the right hand. Nice shot. And Trey Pulliam was fouled by KJ Fagan. Fagan to Malachi. Pull up three. Mal. Good. Malachi. They switch on him. They double him. There's Key. KJ for three. Good. Jessup comes out on him. They're guarding each other. Jordan for three. Good. Look at a screen from a broker rope. Pull up Malachi. Good. Oh, my goodness. What a ball player. Timeout, Boise State. Five seconds to go. Jordan Shackle. Pull up three. Good. Jordan Shackle again. Ties the ball game at the first half buzzer. How about them, boys? Malachi, two-hand chest pass right in front of us from the top of the arc to KJ. Yanni back to KJ for three. Good. KJ Fagan. The Aztecs. KJ. After his poked out, pulls up for a six-foot jump shot. And good. On the rim. A fake of the three and a drum out and a great anticipation. Steal with Trey Pulliam going all the way for the layup with the right hand. 15 seconds gone by. KJ for three. Good. Malachi, what do you got for us in the second half? Pull up long three. Good. That's the player of the year. Was that the slowest clock you ever saw? Wow. Malachi, penetration. Right hand, left hand. Got it. Back it in, back it in on him, back it in on him. Then a fall away, tough 15 footer. Good. Oh, Matt Mitchell. KJ starts to drive, lost the dribble. A running six footer, gonna be airballed. Put up. AG, got it. Hey, what I tell you? What I tell you, Michael Tua, we, we run this city. We run Against Matt Mitchell. Back to the basket after Merrill with one second on the clock for three, and he beats the clock. Loose ball, Matt Mitchell. Aztecs, 15 on the shot clock. Yanni with the left hand over Kada. Got it. Brito with the drive. Lob underneath. Reverse layup. Kada got it. Woo! There's Kada. Got great position. Left hand went up and over Yanni. Good defense by Utah State. Continues his drive. Pulls up. Following six footer. Good. And Matt Mitchell, you just keep shooting the basketball, son. Waiting, waiting. Mitch with that first step and kicking it back out. KJ for three. Good. Yanni to Mitchell. KJ for three. Good. KJ Fagan. Before the two timeouts. Now Malachi for three. Good. Number 22. In the paint. This time Seiko for three. Good. Adam Seiko. As good as anybody in the three-point percentage last year. He doesn't take it very often. He gives it. He gets it back on the near wing. Pull-up jump shot. Pulliam. Good. Trey Pulliam. Malachi going to have the contested shot. Bounce pass. Yanni. Slam dunk. What a pass. What a play. 4.45 to play. The s by 11. Need to add on. He did on. KJ running four-footer. Good. Stop. Bounce pass to Yanni. Turn. Shoot. Got it. And he was fouled. How about that boy? Boy, they're playing some kind of basketball. Sam Merrill through the paint. Double, follow a 10-foot jump shot. In and out and back in. 13. Aztecs. Three up. Good. Here is Sam Merrill. Giving it out to A.G. A.G. drives in. Got in a running three-footer. Got it. A.G. A buck a rope. Quickly. Pass. Top of the key. Brito for three. Good at the buzzer. Wouldn't you know it? Whole lot high percentage shot. They screen for Merrill. His jumper. Good. Utah State. Anderson again for three. Anderson, good. in 
on Yanni. Back it in, gets in the paint. Across the lane with a left hand, reaches out and got it. That cost him a possible 20-point halftime lead. Kata again, drive, slam, dunk. Pass on the far side, a drive by Breen. Brito underneath to Kata. No, Kata turns. Offensive rebound again. Aggies have 17 fouls. So it'll be the one-on-one -on -one in effect. The running seven-footer by Malachi. Good. Going to be coming in. You know he's going to back in on the big fella. AG puts it up. Got it. It's a weapon. Matt Mitchell, drive, follow eight, seven-footer, a very, very tough shot, no good, put back AG, got it! Utah State by one, 110, inbound to Malachi, he drives, pull up, 10-footer, good, good! KJ, waiting on him, waiting on him, waiting on him, between the legs on the dribble, pulls up, shoots over KJ, good! A dagger, a killer, a murder, in broad daylight, what a great player. They shuffle, long pass malachi three no good in and out andy katz here with ncaa.com and march madness with a look at san Diego state we got to get on this bandwagon because the aztecs have a legitimate shot to not only just of course get a number one seed potentially run the table and compete for the national championship and get into the final four in atlanta in talking to multiple Mountain West Conference coaches, I asked them, okay, what has made this San Diego State team so special? And here's what they told me. First of all, defense. San Diego State has always consistently been one of the best defensive teams really out West around the country. That's something that happened under Steve Fisher and now is continuing under Brian Dutcher. A big difference right now is they're also scoring pretty well. So offensive efficiency, Defensive efficiency, very high in Ken Palm, and they've got more versatility. They can shoot all over the floor. I mean, defensively, as we're taping, heading into the weekend, fourth in the country, 58.3 points allowed per game. Their assist-to-turnover ratio is eighth in the country. So they're keeping the basketball, they're not handing it off, and they're distributing. A lot of versatility. A couple other key factors with this Aztec team. First of all, Malachi Flynn. The Washington State transfer has been phenomenal. Now, the transfers don't always work out, but Flynn, sitting out a year, he certainly has blossomed at San Diego State. Got a great feel for the game, and opposing coaches in the Mountain West you know, have a hard time trying to defend him. Other transfers, Yanni Wetzel from Vanderbilt, K.J. Fegan from Santa Clara. Grad transfers who have added tremendous experience to this roster. Very similar to what's going on at Gonzaga with grad transfers, where their backcourt is led by grad transfers. Admon Gilder from Texas A&M, and then coming from North Texas, uh, you've got Wooldridge, so Ryan Wooldridge. So those kind of players, very similar to San Diego State, where they're helping them out considerably. So that's been a big plus, having grad transfers, having a transfer of Malachi Flynn that's worked out. Their defense, according to those coaches, has been uh, even more difficult to go against because they've been able to extend it. So that's another factor where San Diego State has become a tough matchup for opposing teams. Matt Mitchell has really become a force inside and out. 28 against Utah State, 22 and 12 against New Mexico. So you've got Malachi Flynn on the perimeter. You've got Matt Mitchell who can do a little bit of both. So they've got all the pieces offensively and defensively. It certainly has been a big factor for them going forward. And then the person that puts all of it together, that's pushing the right buttons, is Brian Dutcher. He spent 28 years, okay, 28 years on the bench behind Steve Fisher at Michigan and San Diego State. He waited his turn, and he knows the personnel here. He knows what works with San Diego State, and it has worked effectively for the Aztecs. This is a team that's not going away. San Diego State is going to be in this for the long haul, and they just may make a run to Atlanta. In a real whirlwind of emotions because news keeps breaking, not even by the hour, but literally by the minute. And it's really hard to keep up with everything that's going on because things just keep drastically changing so much. You know, it's disappointing. I watched the game this morning with St. John's and with Creighton. And even though there were no fans there, there were still the family, both the teams and the, the bands of the team. And it was still a lot of fun to watch, but it makes sense, obviously, canceling this tournament or postponing it because you have to prevent and you have to do the right thing. And in this case, all the other sports leagues, obviously, last night, all the, that came out. And really, this was on, the only option left 
left. It's just really crazy how things have drastically changed so much because there was an article that came out a couple, like maybe two days ago stating how the NCAA should cancel the tournament. And obviously when you look at that, you were thinking to yourself probably, that is the dumbest idea ever. And now here we are just a day later, two days later. But you know what, that's that's what happens. This is life. Um, you have to do the best thing imaginable. And this, this is the most proactive step in preventing anything. I really hope the NCAA comes around and maybe gives seniors an extra year of eligibility. I see a lot of coaches rallying for that, but I also see a lot of coaches sending their team off and their players off in the right moment. I mean, everybody did have their senior night, so it's not like they're going out without their special moment and every year there's teams that go out without making the NCAA tournament that you probably don't even know about it's just the high profile programs are the ones getting all this publicity right now but this does suck um I might fill out a bracket just for fun the very last Jerry Palm one that he had up of all the teams before this all changed I don't know I might do that I might not it's just things are just so weird right now I don't even know uh I, I'm gonna have a lot of time to talk about sports coming up but the thing is is I don't even know if people are interested in hearing about anything uh especially stories wise because there's just so much news that's coming out and it feels like sports aren't even like something people can really even focus on anymore that's why there's no sports being played it just really sucks because college basketball was so crazy this year and there were teams that you weren't expecting like a dayton or a san diego state and there were great stories on teams that were supposed to be really good but didn't live up to expectations and there were just a lot of cinderella teams teams that hadn't even made the tournament for such a long time that were really competitive this year and this tournament was really shaping up to be something spectacular and now we don't even get to witness it and just how crazy this has all happened in such a short amount of time and it's not even like the NCAA was the one that well the NCAA first started out by saying no fans and it looked like the NCAA was finally ahead of everybody else in all the other leagues and then the NBA situation happened and then the NCAA didn't come out with anything and then all of the conferences separately had to put out their own statement saying that they weren't going to play the games but then the Big East you know they did their thing and obviously they still played a half of their game and in my opinion I think they just did that because they tried to one-up the Pac-12 but it's gonna suck I mean there were so many great teams this year like I keep saying Obviously, nobody's going to get this tournament played again unless things clear up and you know, there's a little bit of stability. I mean, there's so many ideas that are thrown around, maybe host all of the teams in one confined area and just play a bunch of games and throughout a week and all the teams are in a confined area maybe once things get better. But this isn't just a sports issue. This is like a nation issue.